So this time we are going to help adding and subtracting all fractions. So let us have first about adding similar fractions. Now when we say similar fractions, yun yung mga fractions with the same denominators. Just like this one, we have here 2 fifths plus 1 fifth. So mapapansin natin na the denominators are the same 5, 5. So if the denominators are the same, we call them similar fractions. So kapag fractions are similar, so very easy lang to add or subtract them. So just add directly yung numerators. I-add lang nato diretso ang numerators. So 2 plus 1, that's 3. And then just copy the common denominator. Dili ninyo i-add ha? Dili mag 5 plus 5 equals 10? No. Just copy the common denominators, which is 5. So, the answer, 2 fifths plus 1 fifth is equals to 3 fifths. So, that's it. If the denominators are the same, pag pareho, just add directly the numerators, add lang diritso, and then copy the common denominators. Let, let's have another example of similar fractions. 4 tenths plus 1 tenth. So, see, the same denominator, so they are similar fractions. So, again, if the fractions are similar, just add directly, i-add direct so ang numerators. So, 4 plus 1 equals 5. So, and then, copy the common denominators, which is 10. So, it's 5 tenths or 5 over 10. Now, kids, always remember if you are going to add, subtract, divide, or multiply fractions, always express your answer in its simplest form or lowest term. So, in this fraction, you can see 5 over 10. So, this is not yet in simplest form, okay? Naapa may ma-divide sa ilahang duha. Common number na pwede natin i-divide sa ilaha. Which is, ano, is it 2? No, because this is not divisible by 2. 3? No, not divisible by 3. 4? No. So, 5. So, both numbers, 5 at kasi 10, both of them are divisible by 5. So, therefore, silang duha, pwede na to ma-divide by 5 to get the simplest or lowest term. So, 5 divided by 5? 1. 10 divided by 5? 2. So, therefore, the final answer is 1 half. So, 4 tenths plus 1 tenth equals 1 half. So, that is the process about adding similar fractions. The same lang also in subtracting dissimilar fractions. This time, let's have subtraction. So, 3 sevenths minus 2 sevenths, the same denominator, so they are similar fractions. Kapag similar fractions, just subtract directly the numerators. So, diritsa nato is subtract ang numerators. So, 3 minus 2 is 1. And then, copy the common denominator, which is 7. So, the final answer is 1 7 or 1 over 7. So, let's have another example. 20 over 35 minus 5 over 35. Still, similar fractions because denominators are the same. So, kapag ganyan, derizo na to is subtract ang numerators. So, 20 minus 5. 15, and then just copy the common denominators, which is 35. So it's 15 over 35. Now look at the answer. Unlike this 1 over 7, see so 1 over 7 is, is already in its simplest form. Itong si 15 over 35, it's not yet in simplest form. Hindi pa siya naka simplest form. Because naapay number na pwede na to divide sa ilang duha, which is number 5. Both 15 and 35 divisible by 5. So, let's divide both numbers by 5. So, 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Therefore, the final answer is 3 over 7 or 3 sevenths. So, the, the difference of 20 over 35 and 5 over 35 is 3 sevenths or 3 over 7. So, those are the process of adding and subtracting similar fractions. Very easy. Now, let's have adding and subtracting of dissimilar fractions. When we say dissimilar fractions, fractions with different denominators. Just like this example. 1 third plus 2 fourths. So, see... Tingnan natin ang denominators, 3 at saka 4. Di ba magkaiba sila, different sila. So that's why they are called dissimilar fractions. Magkaiba ang kanilang denominators. Now, how are we going to add kapag dissimilar fractions? So this different process. So 
first, this is actually the usual process. So first, we are going to change these fractions into their equivalent fractions. Gagawin natin sila into their equivalent fractions. Pero paano yan? Equivalent fractions na the same denominators or with common denominators. So, is to solve the LCD or least common denominator. Now, how to get the least common denominator? So, let's get first the 3. And then, let's do the skip counting. So, let's have the skip counting 3, 6, 9, 12. And then, let's have number 4. Let's copy 4. Let's do the skip counting. 4, 8, 12, 16. Now, let's look at their, the numbers. The multiples. Ano common na multiples? 3 at saka 4. So, the least common multiples nilang dalawa. So, it's 12, right? 3, walang 3 dito. 6, walang 6 dito. 9, walang 9. 12, my 12 dito. So, si 12 is the least common multiple. So, therefore, LCD of both numbers is, or least common num or the least common denominator is 12. So, now, this time, we are going to find or solve for the numerators for us na makuha natin yung equivalent fractions ni one-third at saka ni two-fourths. So, how to do that? Uh, how to do that one? So, first, divide tayo. So, this number, yung first na number, partner niya is yung first na number din. So, let's do it. 12. So, let's do it. 12 divided by 3. 4. 4 times 1. 4. So, we have now the 4 as the numerator. So, C4 over 12 is now the equivalent fraction of 1 third. Let's have that equivalent fraction of 2 fourths. 12 divided by 4, 3. 3 times 2, 6. So, the equivalent fraction of 6, so the equivalent fraction of 2 fourths is 6 over 12. So, actually, this 1 third is equal to 4 12. That's why it's called equivalent fraction. 2 fourths is equal to 6 over 12. Now, since they have now the same denominators, so we can now add them. So, po yun nato sila i-add. 4 plus 6, 10. Then, copy the common denominator, which is 12. So, we have now 10 over 12. Now, since 10 over 12 is not yet in its simplest form, let's simplify it. So, Isip tayo ng number na pwede natin ma-divide sa kanilang dalawa. 2. Are they both divisible by 2? Pwede ba sila duha ma-divide by 2? Yes, because 0 is the last digit and 2 is the last digit. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, now, na, meron pa ba 5 over 6? Is there a number na pwede pa na itong ma-divide sa ilang duha? Pwede ma-divide? There's none. So, therefore, 5 over 6 is the simplest form of the of 10 over 12. Third, so, therefore, kids, the sum of 1 third and 2 fourths is 5 over 6. So, again, gawin sa gato ni teacher. Get first the LCD of these fractions, least common denominator. C3. Si Skip counting tayo. 3, 6, 9, 12. And then see, 4. Skip counting tayo. 4, 8, 12, 16. And then, get the common multiple. Si 12. So, ilagay natin sa baba. 12 as the common denominators. Or, si 12 now, ang kanilang least common denominator is LC or LCD. And then after that, solve for the numerators. 12 divided by 3, 4. Times 1, 4. 12 divided by 4, 3. Times 2, 6. So, that's why yung equivalent fractions ng dalawang fractions na to ay si 4 over 12 at saka si 6 over 12. And meron yan. Uh, that's one of the activities sa module natin, finding the equivalent fractions. So, next, because they have now the same denominators, we can now then add them. Pero, kids, I have another way of adding fractions or adding dissimilar fractions. It's actually um, faster or like, it's, it's another technique for you to add fractions or even subtract fractions. So, this is what we call butterfly method. So, let's try. This time, let's try the butterfly method using the same fractions. 
And let's see kung saan ba ang mas madali. Itong usual na process ay, or itong butterfly method. So, itong butterfly method, we are we can use this one in adding and subtracting dissimilar fractions. Fractions na magkaiba yung denominators. Now, how to do it? Ito lang. 1 times 4, 4, and then 2 times 3, 6, and then both denominators, let's multiply. 3 times 4, 12. So, we have there 4, we have there 4 and 6. Let's just add them. Si add lang nato sila. 4 plus 6, 10. And then, copy the 12. So, it's 10 over 12. And then, now, si 10 over 12. Nabay, pwede, nabay number na pwede ma-divide sa ilahang duha. So, si 2, pwede ba ma-divide ma sa ilahang duha without any remainder? Yes, because 10 and 12 are both divisible by 2. So, 10 divided by 2, 5. 12 divided by 2, equals 6. So, see, using the butterfly method, we we arrive the same answer, which is 5 over 6. So, pareho ang kanilang sagot, 5 over 6, 5 over 6. So, using the long method or the usual method, 5 over 6, using the butterfly method, we have also 5 over 6. So, the same answer. So, let's try another example. They have different denominators, 5 and 6, so they are dissimilar fractions. So, first, if you're going to use the long method, find first the least common denominator or the LCD. So, paano ganito? Kunin natin si 5 at saka si 6, mag-skip counting tayo. Let's start with 5. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's have 6. We have 6. 12, 18, 20, uh, 24, 30. So, ano yung common multiple nilang dalawa is 30. So, therefore, the least common denominator or the LCD of 5 and 6 is 30. So, now, since we have now the least common denominator, which is 30, so we can now find the equivalent fractions of 3 fifths and 1 sixth. So, paano yun? 30 divided by 5 6, 6 times 3, 18. 30 divided by 6, 5 times 1 equals 5. Now, since they have no common denominators, which is 30, we can now add the, numer we can now add the numerator. So, 18 plus 5 equals 23. And then, just, com just copy the common denominator, which is 30. So, now it's 23 over 30. Now, since 23 over 30... Pwede ba nato sila ma-divide by 2, 3, 4, 6, 8? No. So, therefore, this 23 over 30 is already in its simplest form or our final answer. So, this is the usual method. Now, let's try using the butterfly method. 3 times 6 equals 18. And then, 1 times 5 equals 5. And then, multiply the denominators. 5 times 6 equals 30. So, let's add uh, the answers here. So, 18 plus 5, it's 23. And then, copy the 30. So, it's 23 over 30. So, see, using the butterfly method, we came up with the same answer, which is 23 over 30. So, the same lang actually say that. 23 over 30, 23 over 30. The same answers. So, with this, we can say that butterfly method is easier or mas madali, diba? So, let's try another fractions using butterfly method only. Let's have one-fifth plus two-fourths. Use the butterfly method kasi magkaiba ang kanilang denominators. One times four, four. Two times five, ten. And then five times four equals twenty. Let's add four plus ten. Equals 40, and then just copy the denominator, which is 20. So, it's 14 over 20. And then, tanawin na to, napa ba'y pwede ma-divide sa ila, ha? Yes, napa, both numbers are divisible by 2. So, 14, so 14 divided by 2, 7. 20 divided by 2, 
equals 10. So, therefore, since wala naman tayo pwede ma-divide kay 7 at saka kay 10, the final answer is 7 over 10. So, easier lang, right? So, let's try fractions with uh, with whole number, or mixed, uh, with whole number, mixed numbers. So, let's have this one. 2 and 3 fourths plus 3 and 1 half. Just multiply the numerator and denominator. 3 times 5, 15. And then, 4 times 1, 4. And then, multiply the denominators. 4 times 5, 20. After that, add first the whole numbers. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then, after that, since na-add naman na to ang whole numbers, i-add na nato ni mga answers sa taas. So, 15 plus 4 19, and then, copy 20. So, 19 over 20. So, napapatay, pwede ma-divide sa ilang do, ha? Wala na. So, 19 over 20 is in its simplest form. So, the final answer is 5 and 19 over 20. Actually, the same process lang siya sa taas, pero the difference lang is, diri sa baba, i-add, natin i-add na whole numbers. So, the same process lang, na i-add lang ninyo ang whole numbers. So, that's the process of adding the similar fractions using butterfly method. Now, let's try subtraction. Two-thirds minus one-half. So, let's use the butterfly method. Since they have different denominators, we can use butterfly method. So, two times two, four. One times three, three. Three times two, six. So, after that, let's subtract. 4 minus 3, kagayin na, gi add na to. Of course, because it's addition. So this time, since, since it's subtraction, i minus lang nato. So 4 minus 3 equals 1, and then copy 6. So the answer or the difference is 1 over 6 or 1 sixth. Let's try another example 7 over 10 minus 1 half. Let's do the butterfly method. 7 times 2, 14. 1 times 10, 10. 10 times 2, 20. So, we can now subtract 14 minus 10 equals 4. And then, just copy 20. So, it's 4 over 20. Now, napabay ma-divide sa ilaha kay 4 tsaka kay 20? Of course, yes. And that is number 2 or number 4. So, let's try 2. So, 4 divided by 2, 2. 20 divided by 2, 10. So, 2 over 10. So, 2 over 10, napa ba yung ma-divide? Yes, naapa, which is number 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 10 divided by 2, 5. So, therefore, the final answer is 1 over 5. So, or 1 or 1 fifth. So, that's all for adding similar and dissimilar fractions using the long method and using also the butterfly method. So, it's up to you kids. Kung ano ang gagamitin niyo yung usual na method ba or yung butterfly method. So, I hope you learned something from, from Teacher Algenis' lesson this time. And again, kapag may tanong kay Teacher, don't hesitate. Ayaw ka ulaw pag message kay Teacher Algenis. Goodbye and see you next time.